Hi, this is Sherry. I'd like to um, show you some of these little uh, patches I made, to use a Mrs. Cog term. I um, have about 30, a little more than 30 of them, and I made them from this um, Look and Learn book. It's 1956, and I've been uh, cutting up and using different pages from it. And I have a lot more to use, some for my um, next journal, which I think will be Woodland Animals. Anyway, so this is the book I took them from. And uh, I backed each piece of paper onto cardstock, and then I sewed it onto some fabric so that uh, I glued it and then sewed around it so that it can be used as a a pocket or um, just a, a decorative piece on a page. So I'll go through them. They originally are paper like this. And I'm gonna see if I can do that with this without too much shadow. So here are some small ones of children. And I love the vintage image. Uh, the colors are still really great. These are, you know, children back in the day before everyone was stuck onto their phone slash video game. Reading, kids used to read books. Roller skating. I think this is a couple. And I don't know if you can see the stitching. Roller skating. The ladies used to, well, they still sew. Slow stitching, also known as embroidery. Listening to the radio. That's what grandma does. Grandma still does that. And then the, this set, because it's a look and learn book, this set shows like um, is teaching children like what people used to have to do, namely housewives. And then the modern version. And a nice modern washing machine. The ice chest. Oh, now we have a refrigerator. Now our refrigerators take pictures. When we're at the store, we can look inside and see what we need. Sweeping the floor. And now we have vacuum cleaners. Yay. And this uh, set is showing children like what's the hard way of doing something carrying a barrel of apples or something oh boy now we have a little cart a little red wagon digging up with a shovel moving the dirt that way or again here's a nice wheelbarrow do that this girl is pulling the whole crib i'm not sure why that's definitely the hard way. And this crib has wheels on it. And then here we are again, the little housekeeper, the little homemaker, sitting in a nice clean living room, knitting. And of course it was, still is a lot, but the poor homemaker has this mess to clean up that everybody left. Now that it's all clean, she can relax. I just love the 1950s vibe of some of these. <laughs> On the assembly line, making our tomato sauce, our crushed tomatoes. Sawing down a tree. And this was, um, this was more about weather and fall and winter, collecting the maple syrup. Here we are in a blizzard. The boys are out shoveling. Again, I'm amazed at the, the great color of these older books. Still snowing, the car, old fashioned cars all covered up. Now that's before 1950s, but. And now it stopped snowing, so everyone's having a snowball fight. Taking a little sleigh ride. Love this vintage feel. 
building a snowman. I love this one. This little girl is out there in the snowstorm with her little red wagon and her teddy bear. No coat, no boots. <laughs> okay, so I guess the artist lost their focus. And this is spring. I guess this is spring. Beautiful flowers are growing. There's the bird bath. And then this is one of um, helping cleaning out the dog house. Or maybe it's a little shed. And there's another girl with teddy bear. And these are a variety of sizes. They're all backed with um, the fabric. But I suppose the paper could be glued on that if it wanted to become a journal card. But they're really just nice for decorative features and pockets and tuck spots. Or they can be inserted into a pocket. And there's a little girl reading. Oh, I guess she's cutting up a magazine. I'm trying to keep this out of the shadow. So I have a lot more of these to do, but I have this bundle here I thought I would share and um, thank you so much for looking at this video of some patches I made from this 1956 book. Thank you.